For more than three and a half decades, the National Fast Pitch Coaches Association has been tasked with showcasing the best of the best with the game's most prestigious honor, the NFCA All-American. With the return of softball in 2021, we were reminded of the continued growth and popularity of collegiate softball and the significant impact it has made and will continue to make for years to come. As we reflect on a challenging, highlight-filled, and record-breaking season, let's take a few minutes to spotlight some of the outstanding student-athletes and their teams who made this year one many will cherish. Let's meet the 2021 NFCA Division I All-Americans. It's time to unveil the 2021 NFCA First Team All-Americans. We start off in the circle. A unanimous first team selection, University of Alabama's Montana Fouts. This is the second honor for the junior hurler. The SEC Co-Pitcher of the Year enters the Women's College World Series with a 25-3 record, 1.49 ERA, 9 shutouts, 314 strikeouts in 196 and two-thirds innings of work. Her 300-plus strikeouts are the most for an Alabama pitcher since 2017, and she also set a program record with 20 double-digit strikeout games. A top 10 finalist for USA Softball Collegiate Player of the Year, Fouts is ranked in the NCAA's top 10 in strikeouts, strikeouts per seven innings, shutouts, and wins. UCLA's Megan Faremo earns her first All-America honor as a first-team pitcher. The sophomore righty posted a 19-3 mark with a 110 ERA and 184 strikeouts in 133 in the third innings. The first-team All-Pac-12 and NFCA All-Region selection is the national leader with a 15.36 strikeout-to-walk ratio, over six strikeouts clear of the next pitcher. Faremo earned a spot on the USA Softball Collegiate Player of the Year Top 25 list and is ranked in the NCAA's Top 20 in fewest walks allowed per seven innings, hits allowed per seven innings, and earned run average. She has registered eight double-figure strikeout games and allowed zero or one earned run in 22 of her 28 appearances. Junior Keeley Rochard of Virginia Tech was the workhorse in the circle for the Hokies, leading them to their second Super Regional in program history. The nation's top strikeout pitcher with 348 finished the season 29-10 with a 138 ERA and 13 shutouts. The ACC Pitcher of the Year and Top 25 finalist for USA Softball Collegiate Player of the Year ranks third in the nation in wins and shutouts and is in the top 20 in ERA, strikeouts per seven innings, and fewest hits allowed per seven innings. Rochard, a first-team NFCA All-Region selection, recorded 14 double-figure strikeout games, including back-to-back -back 19 strikeout performances midway through the season. Deja Mulipola from Arizona was the unanimous first-team catcher. She is earning first-team honors for a second straight season which also distinguishes her as the Diamond Sports NFCA Catcher of the Year. A first-team NFCA All-Region and All-Pac-12 honoree, Mulipola heads into the Women's College World Series leading the Pac-12 with 21 home runs and 63 RBI, and is second with a 901 slugging percentage. Those numbers are currently 7th, 3rd, and 11th nationally. Mulipola is also batting 401 with 57 hits, 52 runs scored, and reaches base at a 533 clip. An all Pac-12 defensive selection, she has not made an error in 219 chances, and only eight runners have stolen a base against her. Oklahoma State graduate student Allison Febri is a first-time NFCA All-American as a first-team selection at first base. Leading the Cowgirl offense into the Women's College World Series, Febri is batting 409 with 72 hits, 17 doubles, 19 long balls, and an 813 slugging. Additionally, her team leading 59 RBI are tied for fifth in Division I, along with top 25 rankings in doubles, hits, home runs, and slugging percentage. A Big 12 and NFCA All-Region First Team honoree, Febri has a 1268 OPS, 455 on-base percentage, and has recorded a hit in 45 of 56 contests this season. 
Oklahoma freshman Tiare Jennings earns the unanimous selection at second base. Homering three times in her first collegiate game, Jennings is the nation's top run producer with 84 RBI and 1.42 runs scored per game. Jennings, a top 10 finalist for USA Softball Collegiate Player of the Year, is second nationally with a 1059 slugging percentage, tied for second with 25 home runs, third with 22 doubles, fourth with 82 hits, and fifth in batting average at 485. Recently named the NFCA Shut Sports Freshman of the Year, Jennings flashes the leather at second, recording just three miscues in 106 chances for a 972 fielding percentage. Florida's Sharla Eccles was the unanimous first-team honoree at third base. The junior earned her first NFCA All-America Award to go along with all SEC and NFCA All-Region first-team accolades. Named to the USA Softball's Top 50 Collegiate Player of the Year watch list, she topped the Gators with a 375 average, three triples, 15 home runs, and 55 RBI. Eccles slugged 763 and registered a 478 on base percentage. An SEC All Defensive Team selection at the hot corner, Eccles posted a 975 fielding percentage, committing just four errors in 161 chances. Sammy Williams from Iowa State captures her first All America accolade, earning first team recognition in 2021. Williams, a first-team All-Big 12 and NFCA All-Region honoree, put forth one of the top careers in Cyclones history, hitting 446 with a program record 21 home runs, 54 RBI, and a 902 slugging percentage. She ranks tied for 7th and 10th nationally in long balls and slugging. Williams ended her career as the all-time leader in several Iowa State categories, including hits doubles, home runs, RBI, and runs scored, while also leaving as the Big 12's all-time leader in base hits and doubles. Oklahoma's Jocelyn Allo has powered herself to a third straight NFCA All-America honor. The USA Softball Collegiate and Big 12 Conference Player of the Year is one of the premier offensive threats in the NCAA. She leads the nation with 30 home runs and an 1135 slugging percentage, while ranking second with 82 RBI and 177 total bases, fourth with a 487 batting average, fifth with 1.25 runs per game, and seventh in on-base percentage at 579. Allo, who opened the season with a 23-game hit streak, has reached base safely in all but one game this season and recorded at least one hit in 45 of 52 contests. Joining her teammate in the outfield is Oklahoma freshman Jada Coleman. A versatile player for the Sooners, the top three finalist for NFCA Shut Sports Freshman of the Year, is batting 469 to go with 47 RBI, 67 runs scored, nine home runs, and 19 stolen bases. She has drawn 32 walks, contributing to a 578 on base percentage. An NFCA first-team all-region and all-Big 12 selection, Coleman ranks third nationally in runs scored and runs per game at 1.29. UCLA's Maya Brady earns her first All-American recognition as a first-team outfielder. The freshman is tied for second on the Bruins with 12 home runs, third with 36 runs batted in, 31 runs scored, and 19 walks adding a 333 batting average, six stolen bases, and eight multiple RBI contests. She owns a 441 on-base percentage and was named Pac-12 Freshman of the Week twice in 2021. A first-team NFCA All-Region and All-Pac-12 honoree, Brady has hits in 33 of her 46 games, including an 11-game hitting streak earlier this season. A unanimous first-team selection at utility pitcher for the third straight year, UCLA senior Rachel Garcia is the NFCA's 37th four-time All-American. A top three finalist for USA Softball Collegiate Player of the Year, Garcia enters her fourth straight Women's College World Series with the nation's second lowest ERA at 0 0.95. She is 17-1 on the year with six shutouts and 162 punchouts to just 21 walks in 118 and a third innings of work. 
Garcia has limited her opposition to a 165 batting average and allowed just three home runs. A dual threat, Garcia is batting 351 with 12 home runs, 32 RBI, a 729 slugging percentage, and a team best 486 on base percentage. Taking home UCLA's fourth first team honor is Aliyah Jordan as the designated player or utility non-pitcher position. It's the second first team accolade for Jordan who took home honors in 2018. A junior, Jordan is the team leader in walks with 33 and is second on the Bruins with a 471 on-base percentage and 35 runs scored. She comes into the Women's College World Series batting 326 with 43 hits, 9 doubles, 8 home runs, and 33 RBI. Jordan is an All-Pac-12 and NFCA All-Region First Team honoree and has registered 10 multiple hit and 8 multi-RBI games. Alabama graduate student Bailey Hemphill captured her second NFCA All-America honor, earning First Team At-Large honors at catcher. The SEC Player of the Year is one of the toughest outs in Division I. A knack for getting on base, Hemphill is drawing almost one walk per game and has a 579 on on-base percentage, ranking 7th and 8th nationally. She is also batting 416 with 57 hits, 7 doubles, and leads the Crimson Tide with 12 homers, a 745 slugging percentage, and 53 walks. A first-team NFCA All-Region honoree, Hemphill enters the Women's College World Series three walks shy of the SEC career record. Mary Half, a junior from Arkansas, earned her first All-America honor as a first-team at-large pitcher. The co-SEC Pitcher of the Year keyed the Razorbacks to their first SEC regular season championship, second consecutive regional title, and super regional appearance. Half posted a 26-7 record with 198 strikeouts to just 39 walks in 198 and a third innings of work. She recorded five shutouts, five saves, and held the opposition to a 192 batting average. Half ranks in the NCAA's top 10 in wins and saves and was a top 10 finalist for USA Softball Collegiate Player of the Year. Braxton Burnside collects her first NFCA All-America nod as a first-team at-large selection at shortstop. One of the top power hitters in the NCAA, Burnside smashed the Razorbacks' home run record and is tied for second nationally with 25 home runs. A top 10 finalist for USA Softball Collegiate Player of the Year, she is 11th nationally with 140 total bases, 13th with an 892 slugging percentage, and 16th in walks per game. Burnside also earned First Team All-SEC and NFCA All-Region recognition. Senior Gabby Plain from Washington captured her third consecutive All-America honor on the first team as an at-large selection. Plain, a top three finalist for USA Softball Collegiate Player of the Year, was the Huskies' workhorse in the circle, posting a nation's best 32-4 record with a 145 ERA, 337 strikeouts, 13 shutouts, and a 174 opponent's batting average in 237 and a third innings. The Pac-12 Pitcher of the Year ranks second nationally in strikeouts, third in shutouts, and 18th in strikeouts per seven innings. Kentucky's Kayla Kowalik takes home her first NFCA All-America plaudit as the first team at large catcher. Leading the nation with 100 base hits, Kowalik is also the lone Division I player hitting above 500 at 503, currently 16 points ahead of the next closest player. She also leads the NCAA with 77 runs scored. A top 10 finalist for USA Softball Collegiate Player of the Year, she ranks second nationally, touching home plate 1.33 times per game and set UK single season records for batting average, hits, and longest hitting streak at 23 games. Congratulations to our 2021 NFCA First Team All-American.